here, it's Amelia bringing you another Microsoft PowerPoint video. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your slideshow and demonstrate some cool presentation tools you can use while presenting. Let's get started. So when creating your presentation, it's a good idea to check out your slideshow periodically to see how it's shaping up. So uh, let's go ahead and access the uh, slideshow tab right here in the ribbon and talk about the different ways that you could run your slideshow. Now, before I begin, I wanna tell you a secret trick uh, that you could instantly start your slideshow anytime with just one key, F5. So if I press F5 right now, it will immediately start my slideshow. So that's a nifty way to quickly start your slideshow. And if you're on a slide, you know, say like you're on slide six and you wanna instantly start your slideshow starting on slide six, just hold the shift key down and press F5 and your slideshow will begin specifically on that particular slide. Now I'm gonna press escape and just talk a little bit about the slideshow tab and the options. So you can come to the slideshow tab and start your slideshow from the beginning, from the current slide with these options. You can also select present online and share your slideshow on a web browser. Uh, there's free office presentation services, but you do have to log into your Microsoft account. You can also set up a custom slideshow, and that would be if you wanted to select specific slides to include in your slideshow. The setup slideshow would allow you to select settings for your slideshow. So if I go ahead and click there, you'll see that some of the settings would include uh, like for instance, if you wanted to loop continuously until you press escape, you can choose a color for your pen. And I'm gonna actually go over the laser and pen options uh, in a little bit, but you can set the colors here. And you could also select the particular slides, which is similar to what you can do in the custom slideshow, but you can do it here as well. You can choose to advance your slides manually, or you can choose the to use the timings and I'll explain about the timings when we get to the rehearse timings options up in the ribbon there and also there's options here if you're using multiple monitors okay there's also an option to hide one or more slides so for example you might have a couple slides in the beginning that have instructions or other notes that you don't want to include in your slideshow so let's say I wanted to hide the first two slides I'm just going to hold the control key down to select a second slide and then select hide and then what you'll notice is that the one and the two are crossed out so those will not be included in the slideshow the rehearse timings would allow you to practice your slideshow. I'll show you that shortly, but when you click it, it's actually going to allow you to practice slide by slide, and then you can time out your slides, and then at the end, it will ask you if you want to save your timings. The record slideshow would be if you wanted to record your actual show, or in this option, you can clear the timings that you've saved in your rehearsed timings, which you sometimes have to do because once you rehearse timings, if you save the timings, it will be set to advance your slides automatically. So if you don't want that, then you can clear your rehearsed timings in the record slideshow uh, by going into clear. Right now it's dim because there are no timings saved. There's also some check boxes to uh, play or not play narrations, use timings, and then show media controls. And also here, another option if you're using more than one monitor, and then use or do not use presenter view. Uh, presenter view is really cool. I'm going to show you that when I show you a slideshow demonstration. The presenter view would show you full screen on one side, the slideshow, and then on the side you have uh, what's coming up next and you have some other options at the bottom. So I'll show you that shortly. Okay, well, without further ado, let's go ahead and start this particular slideshow because I'm going to show you multiple ways that you could advance slides and navigate and do different things during your slideshow. So I'm going to go ahead and click from beginning to start the slideshow. And I'd like to start by explaining five different ways to advance slides during your slideshow. One way to advance the slides would be to just press the N, N is in Nancy, key on your keyboard. The next way to advance would be to just click your left mouse button. 
And next, another way to advance would be to press the page down key on your keyboard. Or another way would be to press the, the down arrow on your keyboard. And finally, you could click your right mouse button and then select Next. Next, I'd like to show you four ways to go to a previous slide. Now, sometimes it will not go to a previous slide. It will just go to a previous uh, place in your slideshow prior to that animation. So one way would be to press the P for previous on your keyboard. Another way would be to press the page up key on your keyboard. You can also press the up arrow on your keyboard. And finally, you can click your right mouse button and select Previous. Next, I'd like to show you how to zoom in during your slideshow. You want to right click and then select Zoom In and then move your mouse to decide where you want to zoom and then click and then it will zoom in on that particular area of your slide and then just press Escape when you're finished and you want to return back to your slideshow. You could also view thumbnails of all your slides during your slideshow. Just right click and select See All Slides. Then you'll see thumbnails of all the slides and the one that you were just on has a red uh, border around it. And you could return back to your slideshow by clicking on this left arrow or you can just click on another slide. So if I wanted to jump to this slide, I can just click here and it will return back to the slideshow on that particular slide. Finally, I want to show you two ways to exit the slideshow. Well, the first would be pressing escape on my keyboard. And before I do that, let me just show you the second way, which would be just click and show. Now you can also press E on your keyboard while this right click menu is showing. Now I didn't mention it, but anytime you see a uh, command here in the right menu that's underlined, like so for example, next has an N, um, you can just press the N while this is showing. Right now my uh, mouse pointer actually disappeared. So let me also mention that in the right menu, you could also go to pointer options and arrow options and then always choose to always have your mouse pointer visible so it will not disappear. Okay, so let me go ahead and end this particular slideshow with escape on my keyboard. And the next thing I'm going to show you is how to set up an automatic slideshow. So we're going to go into rehearse timings here from the slideshow tab. And what's going to happen is it's going to start the slideshow and then you would just practice. So if there's a uh, narration or, you know, uh, things that you're going to be doing during your slideshow, you would just pr practice. And if you notice here on the upper left, it's recording the timings. It's not recording your voice or anything. It's just recording the timings. So you'd want to continue along for each slide. And I'm gonna, just going to go a little fast. And at this point, I'm going to speed up and advance to the last slide. Okay, and now I'm on the last slide. You'll see a prompt. Do you want to save the new slide timings? Now, you have two choices. If you save the slide timings, what it'll do is it will change the slideshow into automatic instead of manual. So if you save the timings, it will automatically advance your slides for you. Now, if you don't want it to automatically advance the slides. You don't have to save your timings. You could just say no. Or what you could do is if you saved your timings, I'll just go ahead and say yes, but then you decide it, well, I don't want it to advance automatically. You just go into the record slideshow, pull down and select clear, clear timings on all slides. Okay, so in my last example, I have switched to a different PowerPoint presentation and I'd like to show you during your slideshow how you can use the electronic pen and laser pointer. So let me go ahead and start the slideshow with F5. So if you're presenting during say a live WebEx and you need the ability to show slide notes, use the electronic pen in a specific color to draw while you're speaking or use the electronic laser pointer. There's also a yellow highlighter as well. While you're presenting, you can just right click and choose the pointer options in here. There's a laser pointer. And when you turn that on, you can just use the laser pointer as you're talking. Now next, I'd like to show you 
Now notice now my mouse pointer actually disappeared. So before I continue, I want to go into pointer options and go down to arrow options, go down if I can to visible. And now I got my mouse pointer back. So uh, let me go back to right click and go into pointer options again and show you the pen. And the pen will just allow you to draw while you're speaking. And I want to right click again and show pointer options. And next I'll show you the highlighter and that's just similar to a yellow highlighter. You can just highlight as you're speaking. And I'll right click again and go into pointer options. Now this time I'm going to select an ink color for my pen and I'm going to go change it to, we'll change it to purple. So now I can just draw in purple color. And what else is here? We have an erase. So you can use the eraser and you don't have to actually erase. Actually, just when you click, it'll erase that um, shape. You also can select to erase all ink on the slide. And finally, I mentioned about the arrow options already, but I'll just mention that if it's automatic, then sometimes the mouse pointer will disappear. But if you always want to see your mouse pointer, then you want to select visible. And if you want to hide your mouse pointer altogether, you'll want to select hidden. And next, I'd like to show you something called the presenter view. So if I right click and select show presenter view, it changes into a uh, a different kind of display. So while you're presenting, you could see the slideshow on the left, and then you can see what's coming up on the right. You could see your slide notes on the right, and you can also get to all these different options. So um, you can get to the pen and laser tools here, and you can also see all slides here, which will give you the thumbnails. You can zoom here. Uh, black or unblack the slideshow. If you're presenting and for some reason you want to hide the slideshow temporarily, you can select that. You can also use a trick by just pressing B, B for black, and hit B again to get it back. B for black, B to get it back. <laughs> I loved, I just love rhyming. Um, and finally, uh, more slideshow options in here, which are the ones that I've already described in the right click menu. And down in here, you have the navigation. So you can navigate here as well to go through your slideshow. And again, while I'm going through the slideshow, what's nice on the right is it shows you the next slide. In earlier versions of PowerPoint, prior to PowerPoint 2010, presenter view only works if more than one monitor is detected. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.